when I thought about doing this canning course, I put out a few polls on Instagram actually to see what people said was their greatest canning fears and concerns. And there's a few kind of reoccurring topics and things that came up. So I'm gonna address those here. The first is botulism, poisoning. Um, I think that's something everyone thinks about. When you can food, you wanna make sure you're canning it safely. You don't wanna get sick. And botulism is one of those main things that can get you sick if it wasn't canned properly. So here's the deal. I'm gonna just explain it super simple. When you can a high acid food at the temperature of 212, which is what a water bath canner goes up to, that's what you can your high acid foods in, it will kill that bacteria. So you don't need to worry if you've properly followed a recipe for a water bath canner, right? A water bath canning recipe, you don't need to worry about that. There are some spores that remain on your low acid foods of that botulism, spores of the botulism. What you wanna do is then always can your low acid foods in a pressure canner, which goes up to 240 degrees and that guarantees you kill those spores. So what you really just need to do is follow the recipe and do the correct type of canning for what you are wanting to preserve. Water bath canning or pressure canning. If you do all those steps, you will ensure that there should not be an itch issue with botulism and you will be good to go. The second biggest concern that I heard about, and it's something honestly that I was worried about when I first started canning all the time, is the jars breaking. Um, and that's of course a valid fear. You don't want a jar breaking when you're canning. But I mentioned a little bit about this in one of the previous videos. And it's the thought of you don't want to go from hot to cold or cold to hot. You don't want to shock your jar. So to avoid that, you want to make sure you always warm your jars in the water bath canner before you put the hot contents that you're canning into the jar. So it's warm, okay, the same temperature. You, you don't want it to be like a cold jar to hot content. And then think about it when you take the jars out of the water bath canner, you wanna put them on a wood cutting board or you wanna put them on a kitchen towel. Don't take that hot jar and put it directly on a cold surface. That'll shock it. That could cause maybe something to happen. As long as you follow all the steps and don't go from the cold to hot or hot to cold, you will be safely canning and enjoying your food. The last concern that I heard so much about is if you are pressure canning. Now this course obviously has focused on water bath canning, but there is the concern that if you pressure can, maybe the canner will explode, and that does sound terrifying. However, a lot of the older models of pressure canners, that's when that was more of an issue. Now, these new canners are so fancy and awesome, you should not have that problem. As long as you follow the manufacturer guidelines for that pressure canner, you should not have any issues when you are pressure canning. With the canning fears and concerns, my recommendation would be, and it's kind of what I started doing because it just made it easier, is start with simple recipes. Don't overwhelm yourself. Start with water bath canning. That's why you're taking this course. It'll be easy, easier. Um, simple to understand and will guarantee you have a positive canning experience.